Hello friends, welcome to our channel Simple Visa Hub. My name is Gurlal and today we have a very exciting topic to discuss, the SINP. If you are considering to immigrate to Canada in 2023, this could be your pathway to a new and beautiful life. So let's start. So now what exactly is the SINP? SINP or the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program is a program designed by the government of Saskatchewan to attract skilled workers, entrepreneurs, businessmen, businesswomen and the international student graduates who want to live and work in the province permanently. Through this program, the province can nominate candidates for Canadian permanent residency, giving them 600 points that can be used in express entry and which almost guarantee the permanent residency. So now, what are the main benefits of the program? First, it has the faster processing times as compared to the other federal program. The draws are held frequently and invitations to apply or ITAs are sent out every month. Second, the applicant can get assistance from provincial officers and can reach out to them directly with any questions. The third major benefit, as I mentioned earlier, is that if selected, you get 600 points towards your express entry, which almost guarantees permanent residency. So now let's talk about the application process. The Saskatchewan PNP operates through four different streams, with each having its own set of requirements and application process. Some streams are specifically designed for skilled workers, while others cater to entrepreneurs, business persons, or international graduates. The four main streams are number one, the international skilled worker stream, number two, the businessman or entrepreneur stream, the number three, Saskatchewan work experience stream, and number four, farm owners and operators stream. In this video, I will explain more about the international worker stream and will focus on other streams in detail in our next videos. To be eligible under the international skilled worker stream for the Saskatchewan SINP, you must meet certain criteria. It is a point-based evaluation system with each applicant given a score out of 110 points for two main factors and a minimum score of 60 points is necessary in order to be eligible for this program. Now, let's talk about the two main factors. Factor number one, also known as the labor market success factor, is the factor that evaluates an applicant's potential success in the Saskatchewan labor market and scores them based on the following criteria. Criteria number one is education and training. Based on the level of your education, you can score up to 23 points in this criteria. The second is the skilled work experience in an occupation that is in demand in Saskatchewan. It must be a tier 0, 1, 2 or 3 job and it must not fall in the excluded occupation list published by the province of Saskatchewan. For your reference, I will drop the link to the excluded occupation list in the description. Please make sure to check that your NOC code does not fall in that excluded occupation list before starting with the application process. The next criteria is language ability as you must have sufficient language proficiency in either English or French in order to adapt and thrive in the Canadian job market. Based on your CLB level, a candidate can score anywhere between 0 to 20 points under this criteria. The fourth criteria for this factor is age and based upon your age you can score a maximum of 12 or a minimum of 0 points. An applicant can attain a maximum of 80 points under this factor. Now although the major points for the SINP are under this factor, the second factor is where the things get interesting. So now let's jump to factor number 2. The second factor under the eligibility criteria for Saskatchewan SINP is the connection to Saskatchewan labor market and adaptability. It is more interesting one as under this criteria you can score 20 points just by having a close relative living in Saskatchewan. Note, I said a close family relative which may or may not be your blood relation which means your first or second cousins, your uncle or aunt can also be considered under this criteria and can help you get up to 20 free points. As you know, even one point 
can make a huge difference in an application being selected or rejected. So these 20 extra points can make a world of benefit for your application. So get ready to find old marriage photos for your cousins and uncle and aunts. The second criteria under this factor is past work experience in Saskatchewan. With the minimum work experience of 12 months, you can attain 5 points towards your application. The third and last criteria for this factor is education in Saskatchewan. By having at least one full-time academic year at a recognized Saskatchewan post-secondary education institution on a study permit, you can again get 5 more points. Under this factor, the maximum attainable points are 30. This is a great news for people who have a close relative cousin, family member, uncle or aunt living in Saskatchewan. And the cutoff scores for invitations vary widely and you can get an invitation even for 68 points, even if you don't score high marks in factor number one. You can see in the latest SINP draw, the score of 69 was selected as a cutoff score. So now you have evaluated yourself on the criteria and you have found out that you score at least 60 points. So now how to apply or what steps to follow? So let's discuss that. The first step would be that you will need to submit an expression of interest or an EOI to the SINP or Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. If your EOI meets the eligibility criteria and it scores high enough points, you may receive an invitation to apply for provincial nomination. The Saskatchewan government does frequent draws from the EOI pool and they almost issue invitations to apply every month. The second step of the process is that once you have received an invitation to apply, you have to submit an application under the SINP to the Saskatchewan government for nomination. And once your application is selected and you have received the nomination, the last step would be to use that nomination, which is worth 600 points in your federal application for express entry. You can find the link for the expression of interest portal for SINP in the description below. And we will do a detailed video explaining how to fill out the forms for the EOI later on. If you found this video helpful and would like to discuss any other topic of your interest, please let us know in the comments and share this video with your friends and family. If you have any questions, you can also reach us via Gmail at simplevisahub at gmail.com or via Instagram at simplevisahub. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on immigration and other exciting topics.